hello and welcome to improve your excel in today's video we are going to learn how to split data into multiple workbooks based on a specific column value so if you have been following my channel you may have already seen my previous video on splitting data into multiple worksheets based on a column values after receiving uh, several comments uh, from the users uh, requesting a similar tutorial on splitting data into multiple workbooks. So now I have decided to create this video to help you to achieve this task. So uh, the process of splitting data into multiple workbooks is very similar to the process for splitting data into multiple worksheets that we have uh, that I have done before in my uh, last video. So all you need to do is click on the button that you can see on my screen to get started. So here's the button. All right. Okay. So what I did, I have not assigned uh, a macro to this workbook. So we are going to assign this now. Let's do this. All right. So, uh, once you have clicked the button a window will pop up and ask you to enter the row header name so my header name is uh, the first row i'm going to select this one all right then another window will appear and ask you to enter the column name on which you want to split your data into multiple workbooks so here's my first column so uh, once you have entered all the information and all you need to do is wait for the process to complete so after the process has finished so first uh, click on this button all right after the process has finished you can check your uh, the download folder uh, download fo download folder that is default so you will find that newly created workbooks have been generated based on the column values uh, that we have entered here. Uh, so the my uh, column values were um, the uh, column A. So let's check. Let's use a unique function over here. So the code should create a three workbook based on these names CCS, KPM and PML. Right, so let's go to the download folder. All right, you can see that the code has created uh, the three workbooks. So let's check the data in that workbooks. So the PML value has seven rows. Okay, let's filter the PML and check. All right, it has seven values. So, all right, I hope uh, that this tutorial will be helpful to you in splitting your data into multiple workbooks. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.